A lot of people say that this Mosher device is not as accurate. Let's test how accurate it is versus the regular tape measure on this driveway right over here. First off, let's put the tape measure down and see how wide the driveway is. Just like that, tape measure's down and it should be 16 feet, it's a little bit wider. It took me a second, but we're at 35 feet from that end till about right here and we need to go a little bit more. 35 plus 15 and a half. Just for the hell of it, I wanna check how wide it is at the bottom and we're just under 16 feet at the bottom. 16 times 50.5 is 808 square feet with the tape measure. Time to now check with Mo. At our first point, so let's walk it. And we're gonna stop about halfway here. As you can see how it is right on the edge. And there it gets our point. We'll walk to the end. We're not gonna measure these corners because we didn't measure them on the last one, but it's actually extremely easy to measure with Mosier. Speed up a little bit. And back up to the starting point here. One slide along the way. See it drawing it on there. And we're gonna click this button. And just like that, just got done measuring with Mosier and it measures 796.5 square feet. What's really cool is at the top of the driveway, it was a little over 16. At the bottom of the driveway, it was a little under 16. Out of the two, the easier one to measure with was definitely Mosier. And I actually think its measurement was more accurate. Its percent of error is 0.6%, which is actually less than five square feet. Link in the bio if you're